Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, after five years of conflict in Syria, this country is destroyed. Despite whatever attention has been given so far, Syria is still on the sliding slope. We are here in London today because close to 18 million people in the region require immediate assistance. The capacity of Syria's neighbors to assist and accommodate the ever-growing numbers of refugees has been stretched and is fast reaching its outer limits. Today, together with a community of donors, we commit ourselves to continue providing humanitarian aid. In addition to Latvia's contributions through the United Nations and European Union and bilateral aid programs, I can confirm that Latvia will be delivering a contribution of 50,000 euros to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Regional Refugee and Resilience Plan, which responds to the basic needs of the refugees. Using this opportunity, I would also strongly call on the international community to go beyond financial pledges to identify, place and cement the cornerstones for long-lasting solutions and sustainable economic growth. In this regard, we must address the long-term needs of refugees outside Syria and the requirements of the host communities specifying what must be done to improve infrastructure and the provision of basic services, in particular education, healthcare and employment. We must continue extending our support for those who are working bravely to bring assistance to people in need, both inside Syria and in the neighboring countries. First and foremost, we must step up pressure on all parties to the conflict to show respect for international law and demonstrate their humanity. I stand here in full support of the United Nations Special Envoy for Syria, Mr. Stefan de Mistura, in his efforts to bring forward into Syrian political talks. Our aim has always been a political solution of the conflict in line with the Geneva Communique. Thank you for your attention.